Welcome. In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at the Sanlinky LED work light. And this light was provided to me by the distributor, but they're not compensating me for this video and they're not reviewing it before I post it. If you find this video helpful, I'll put a link in the description to this on Amazon. And if you use that link, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost you anything extra. Okay, so we have a charging cable, it's micro USB. And here's the light. Has a little handle stand on it here, like so. So this has two LEDs on it here. On the left we have an XPG LED, and that's a directional high performance LED. And on the right we have a cob, which is a chip on board LED. So the case, I think this is nylon here, and then you have this rubber molding around it. And that's actually bolted on, so that should stay on. It shouldn't just uh, unglue itself. So the specs on this is that it uses 30 watts, and the max output is 3,000 lumens. And it has three modes. It has spot, flood, and both. It's powered by two 18650 batteries with a capacity of 4,400 milliamp hours. And this is rated at IP64. So the six is for dust ingress. So this is supposed to keep all dust out. And then the floor is for splash resistant. So you could rinse this off with water. You wouldn't want to spray a pressure washer at this and you wouldn't want to submerge it for an extended amount of time. So let's take a closer look around here. So we have a switch here and this is also a battery pack. So you can pop this lid up like so and you can access the charge port. So you would plug that in to charge it. And then you have the USB port and you can use this as a battery pack. So I think that's a cool feature to actually have a USB port in here. It probably didn't take a lot of extra engineering or money to add a port like this, but it makes it a lot more useful. You may want to use a work light like this for projects and you may work on a project every few weeks and then you have this thing just kind of sitting around. By being able to charge from it, you can have this be dual use. So say you're going camping, you could take this and charge your phone and then you could use the light maybe for cooking or if you have a flat tire on the way home, you could pull this out to help illuminate the area while you're changing the tire. So I think it's really neat having dual use items like that so you can get more use out of them. Like this would make a good emergency light to have in your car, but if it's sitting in the back all the time and you don't charge it regularly, it's not gonna be ready to use. But if you're using it as a battery pack at the same time, you're more likely to be charging it on a regular basis. So there's a battery indicator there. If we press the white button, you can see it's fully charged. I'm gonna try and top this off because it may be down a little bit. So I'll turn this on here. And we're going to see two lights here. We see the flood and the spot. And both LEDs are on right now. And then you can just press, do a little press. You don't want to press it until it clicks. On this, it will turn off the spotlight. And we just have the flood on. And if I do that again, it does the spotlight. And if I do it, I can go back and forth between these two. And then if you want to go to both, you just turn it off and then turn it on again. And we have both on. So now we'll take a look at the angles you can put this at. So you can lay it flat on its back. You can pull the handle out and it has detents. So this is one level and that's not quite perfectly up and down, but it's tilted up just a little bit. That's a little bit more. That's at 90 degrees here. So this is at about 45 degrees. That and that's straight up. So I have my ruler here. We can measure. This is about five inches by a little over six and a quarter inches. See if I can get the thickness here. I think it's a little over one and a half inches thick. It's kind of hard to show on camera, but when I set it face down like this, there's about an eighth of an inch gap between the surface and the lens. So if you were to set this on the ground like this, if it's flat, it should be fine. If it's rocky, you might get rocks hitting these. But there's not a lot of reasons you would need to set it down like that. Usually we'd have it up like this. So I'm going to charge this up and then we'll do some tests with it. Okay, so now I'm backed away from my bench a little bit and I'll demonstrate it inside here. So I'll turn it on. This is the spot and the flood. So you can see the spot in the middle there. I'll tap it again. And this is the flood. So this is a more even light. So this would be good if you're changing a tire or something, or maybe you're setting up a tent in the dark you could set this flood on to illuminate the area. I'll tap it again, and this is the spotlight. So say you hear a noise outside and you want to inspect your property, you could use this to reach a long ways away. 
Okay, so it's kind of hard to see the beam on my bench here. So I'm going to take this outside and record a little footage with my security camera. Okay, so I'm outside here. I'll use the flashlight on my cell phone here, and you can see it barely shows up on camera. Next, I'll turn the light on full, and this is using the flood and the spotlight. Next, I'll just press the button a little bit, and it will turn on the flood. And now I will hit it again, and it will turn on the spotlight. So it's kind of hard to film a flashlight because the exposure of the camera can change, but I think this gives you an idea of the angle that this sends the light out in both modes. So let's check out the charge port here. I'll plug in my iPad. You can see the blue lights turned on. Okay, and there we go, it's charging. So I wanted to test this to make sure you didn't have to actually turn the light on to charge because that would be kind of a pain. Let's see if it'll do both at the same time. There we go. So it will do both at the same time. You can charge and use the light. So I'm guessing this does regular charge. I don't think this would do fast charge. So I think this is a very versatile light. You can use it as an emergency light. You could take it camping with you. With the flood mode, you could use it for doing like meal prep at night. You could hang this up in a dining fly or above your head somehow, and you'll have a nice even light to work with. I like that this has a battery pack, but you can never have too many. We were going on a scout camp out last year, and a number of people drained their batteries in their cars while trying to charge their phones. If they had this to charge their phone, they wouldn't have run down their car battery. One thing that's a little tricky is getting this open here. It's a little bit tight. But there is a reason for that. That gives it that waterproof rating. You can see there's a gasket around here. So I put my finger in there and then twist it like this to open it. There we go. That might loosen up over time too. So that's the Sandleaky LED work light. If you have any questions about this, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.